Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sin For Real. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman and needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out with any questions, concerns, or anything that you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. Okay? All right. So we're going to jump right into this video. This video is titled, Five Signs That He's Using You. Five ways that the man that you are dealing with is using you. How do you know when a man is using you? Here's five signs how you can tell if a man is using you. Okay? All right. We're going to go to number one. Number one. Number one is you're doing more for him than he does for you. Now. Have you ever been in a situation with a man where you felt like, okay, this man is really getting all of my benefits, but I'm not getting anything out of this deal. When you're dealing with a man, it's a deal, right? So this is a deal. This is an exchange. When you're dealing with somebody, it's a deal. So you get something, I get something. That's a relationship. A relationship should be a balance of, of, of something. I give and I receive, and you give, and you receive, right? So it should be an exchange like that. But a lot of times, you will deal with a man, and it seems like you're doing all the work. You're the one initiating all the phone calls, all the texts, all the meetups and linkups. Every time you want to see him, you got to ask him. Every time you want to hit him up, you got to hit him up. Every time you want to call him, you got to call him. You know what I'm saying? Every time you want to talk to him or whatever, you got to initiate it. Or whenever something happens, you the one just doing all the work. You putting in all the effort. You the one that's actually trying. And he's getting everything that he wants out of it. Sex, you know, emotional support, financial support, whatever he's getting up out of you. And you're not getting what you want, which is a relationship a lot of times, right? He's not giving you what you want, but he's getting everything that he wants. And that's the problem a lot of times. And then also, so this is how you can tell when a man is using you. When you're doing more for him than he's doing for you. And it's an imbalance. It's like you're doing all 100% of the work, he's doing zero. Or you're doing 80% and he's doing 20%. Or even you're doing 55% and he's doing 45%. That's still not even, you know? So it's like you're not, give, you're not getting what you need out of this relationship. It's an uneven deal. It does not matter. The ratio is still an uneven deal, right? So when you're dealing with this man, you're like, wait a minute. I'm not getting nothing out of this deal when I'm dealing with you, right? So it's like, you know, he's, he, he's just using you. And he takes and he never gives. This man never gives you what you want in return. And he, he just take, 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 and you're doing more for him than what he's doing for you. So that's the first sign of how you realize how a man is using you. That's the first sign how you recognize that. When you start to feel like, dang, you start sitting back as a woman, you start saying, dang, you know what? I'm really not getting what I want out of this deal. Like, this is an uneven deal. I'm getting nothing, and he's getting everything. How does that work? You know, like, I, I feel like I'm getting the short end of the stick. I feel like I'm not receiving what I'm giving out. It's kind of like you're putting your money into a vending machine and you're not getting your snack out, right? You want that honey bun in that vending machine and you expect that when you put your dollar in that vending machine that this honey bun is going to come out, right? And now you put your money in the vending machine and and the and the honey bun don't come out. Now you now you like, "Okay, let me put another dollar in there, maybe it'll come out." Still don't come out. I'm gonna put another dollar in. The, the thing still don't come out. So why are you still dealing with this vending machine that you are not getting your honey bun out? You keep giving, giving, giving. You throw all your dollars into the vending machine and you see that it's broken or you see that it's not trying to give you what you're trying to give you. So, you know, why would you keep putting your money into that vending machine? You got to ask yourself that question in that same scenario. Would, would you put keep putting your dollar after dollar after dollar after dollar into this vending machine and you're not getting the snack that you want out? Or would you go to a different vending machine right next to it or another vending machine, you know, a, around the corner somewhere else in the building where the, it actually works? What would you do? If you really want that honey bun, wh would you still keep going to the same vending machine? Probably not, right? After the first few tries, maybe after one or two tries, you're going to be like, oh, no, you're not going to keep taking my money. No, I'm good. So you have to, teach, you have to treat yourself like that. 
You have to treat yourself just like that. Like, I keep giving my benefits to you, and I'm not receiving what I want out of this deal. So, I'm going to move around. The problem that a lot of women have is that they don't move around. They stay, and they keep putting a dollar in, dollar in, dollar in, dollar bin, and this honey bun not coming out. So, metaphorically speaking, you keep putting in your time, energy, money, sex, everything uh, on the table and you're not getting what you want out of this situation a relationship or even just a bare minimum effort or you actually you don't even deserve the bare minimum effort you deserve extraordinary effort you deserve extraordinary effort that's what you deserve you don't even deserve the bare minimum but but a lot of men not even doing the bare minimum but you don't even deserve the bare minimum but a lot but what i'm saying is a lot of men don't even give you that a lot of men don't even try at all and you just giving everything and even if he's doing the bare minimum, it still does not compare to what you're doing. So if you're dealing with a man that is an uneven balance and you're doing more than what he's doing for you, then he's using you. Okay. All right. So that's number one. Number two. Number two is he only wants you for sex. Now, when I say that he only wants you for sex. So these are some, these are some ways how you can tell if a man only wants you for sex. And the first one is if he only hits you up at night, right? So if he only hits you up at night. And stuff like that, like around like maybe like between like even like nine o'clock. Whenever the first of all, whenever the sun go down to the sun come up, between them hours, either between because you know they say booty call hours or whatever. Hey, booty call hours can start at nine o'clock, eight o'clock. You know what I'm saying? When that sun start going down, booty call hours can start then and can last all the way up to five six in the morning time you know so anywhere in between that really whenever the sun go down and he, that's the only time you hear from this man and he only wants you to come over and it's always come over come over and it's never let's go out during the daytime then you know he only he's only using you for sex that's he's just using you he only wants sex out of you you know and that's the only time where you can see this man is at nighttime the only time you can see him is at your house or at his house and he does not take you outside during daylight hours or in public then yes he's using you for sex because any man that's proud to have you he's going to take you out and show you off because he's proud to have you and he want everybody to know who he's with because he's proud to have you now if he's not proud to have you and he's ashamed of having you or he just doesn't see you in that light or he only wants you just for sex and that's it and he does not want anything serious with you then he's going to keep you in the house and only hit you up at nighttime so that nobody else knows but him and you that y'all are dealing with each other so that's that. That's how you know he's using you. And then another way how you can tell during sex, how he only wants you for sex, is if he only talks about sex or he only gets excited when you talk about sex. But when you talk about anything else, let's just say you have a regular conversation with him. He's real dry, real nonchalant. He don't really care about what you're talking about. The vibes is just dry and whack and he not even just trying with you, right? But then as soon as you talk about some sex, he what? Sex? Sex where? 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 What? Me and you? What? What's your favorite? What? Oh, what what's your favorite position? What? What you like to do? What? Oh, oh, oh. Have you ever had? What? What do you? You know? And he just gets all excited and stuff like that. Then that's how you know that that's all he wants from you. Because just a second ago, when I was asking you some 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 regular questions or just trying to get to know you genuinely, you was real dry, like real nonchalant. You asking him about his childhood, or you asking him about you know where you where he sees his life in five years, or you asking him just certain things about him just to genuinely get to know him, and he like barely even asking you no questions back, or he's just dry answering one word, answering your questions. He don't really care. But then, as soon as you talk about sex, he, oh, what's your favorite position? Oh, oh, have you have you ever had sex in a public place before? Oh, oh, what, oh, well, what you like to do when you have sex? Do you like it rough? Do you like it fast? Do you like it slow? What do you like? Oh, 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 oh. You know, and it's like, wait a minute. You was not this excited before when we was talking about some regular stuff trying to get to know each other. But as soon as I start talking about sex, now you get all hype and you start, you start being all excited. Like, what's up with that? He's only concerned about sex with you. And again, if he only hits you up at nighttime, and again, if he only has you come over, it's always come over, come over, come see me, or let me go over there, let me go over there. It's never let's go out together. It's never, hey, let's go get dressed up and, you know, and I'm going to pick you up and I'm going to take you out. It's never none of that. It's always just come over, let's Netflix and chill, let's watch a movie. It's always that, right? So that's how you know that's all he wants from you is sex, okay? All right. So number one was... You're doing more for him than what he does for you. Number two is he only wants sex from you. Now, number three. Number three is he always asks you for money. Now, 
this is a big one, ladies, because a lot of a lot of these dudes, a lot of these men out here are not real men. A lot of these men are be dry asking women for money just to come up off of women or just to see how far they can get with you or just to use you again for your benefits. Maybe he's using you for sex and he's using you for money or either or, you know, maybe he's using you for money because he's like, okay, I can probably see, maybe he knows that you got some bread somewhere. Maybe he know you got a good job. Maybe he see like what you got going on. He see like, like the car you drive and stuff like that. And maybe he notices that you are on a higher level than what he's on as a man. So he's like, okay, well, how can I get her to share some of that wealth with me? Some of her net worth with me? How do I get her to share some of her financial stability with me so that I can benefit off of her financial stability and I can build myself up as a man by coming up off of her. Now, a lot of men think like that. And it starts off little. So this man may ask you, hey, you know, and it always starts off, ladies, pay attention to these sob stories. Pay attention to these men that are that are telling you these little sad stories like, man, man, my car, man, my 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 light bill about to, man, they about to cut my lights off, man. I need, I need, I need fifty dollars on my bill, man, or uh, uh, this and that and this and that, you know? And this is the thing. When that man has not even earned it or he ain't never did nothing for you or he, you know he would not do the same for you or he don't spend no money on you or if you was to ask him the same thing, you know, if you had to either, even question would he do the same for me, then you should not be giving him no money. You should not be spending no money on no man just because... Uh, you just feel, you just, just because, oh, you know, I feel bad for him or, oh, you know, oh, that's a sad story. I want to help him out or, man, forget all that. Forget all that. He a grown man. He's a grown man. If he can't figure it out, he, so, man, he don't need to be, he don't need to be dating. He don't even need to be dating you. Why he dating you when he broke? And he worried about some, he need to be focused on trying to get a bag instead of trying to bag you. You know what I'm saying? He need to be worried about other stuff other than you. You know, now I understand life happens and stuff like that and blah, 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 blah. But he's a man. And, and, and if you're the first person that he call when he needs some money, you mean to tell me that he ain't got his mama, his daddy, his, his uncles, aunties, cousins, his, his homeboys that he hang around, the big homies and air all his homeboys, they can't give him no money when he down. But the first person he go to is you. Because why does he go to you? Because he know that you'll do it for him. And he feels like he'll do it for you'll do it for him because people only ask for things that they feel like they'll they'll get it. You know, you, you you're not gonna ask for something if you feel like they're not they're gonna say no or you feel like it's not gonna work out. You only ask for something because it's you you think in your mind it's a possibility that I could probably get it. So he's gonna test the waters. And sometimes it starts off small, ladies. It starts off, oh, you know, well. Let's just say, okay, well, I, man, my, man, my light bill, man, I need fifty dollars on my light bill. Boom, you send him fifty dollars. Now he like, okay, I, I, if I can get fifty dollars out of her, I could probably get five hundred dollars out of her. Hey, he gonna hit, hit you up again a month, a month later, a few weeks later. Hey, man, I got these shoes, man. I really like these shoes. Dang, can you buy me these shoes? They only, they only two hundred fifty dollars. They only three hundred dollars. Can you get them for me? And let's just say you, you be like, okay, I'll get you these shoes. Now it's like, oh, I really got her now. Now I can ask her for even more. Oh, now, now all of a sudden, damn, my car broke down. I need $200. Damn, my, my light bill again is about to get cut off again. You know, oh, damn, something, something, something. It's always a sob story. It's always something going on with him. Always something. And he just asks you for money. Money, money, money just to give him. But he don't ever put no money in your pocket. That's the problem. If he won't do the same for you, then don't do that for him. Now, I, this is a disclaimer. If this is a man that's grinding hard for you and he been and he been spending bread on you or he been, you know, a good man to you and you know in your heart, in your mind, in your soul that he will do the same for you, then by all means, that's a whole different story. If this is your husband, if this is a man that you live with, that, that you love and you care about, and he is and he puts in effort and he actually needs it, and you know in your mind that he needs it, and you know he maybe he can't go to nobody else, but he just needs it, and maybe he'll pay you back, and he'll pay you back whenever you know he, he gets back up, and, he, and you know for a fact, and you don't even have to question it. 
then that's a whole different story. But for men that you're just dating, no. No. If it's a man that you're just dating and y'all not even together, but he asks you for money, no. Even sometimes if it's your boyfriend sometimes. Because they'll try to see how far they can get with you. You know, still, you still got to see, okay, do I, you got to be careful about giving men money because men are gold diggers too. Some men will use women for money the same way. So you got to be alert like, okay, do I want, if I give this man his money, will he do the same for me? If I help this man out, does he help me out? Has he ever got you out of a situation? Will he ever help you? Will he do the same for you? Now, if he got a history of helping you out, and he got a history of being there for you when you was down, or he got a history of helping you out, spinning bread on you whenever you ask for something, then by all means, it's that's that's a that's a relationship, you know? But if but again, like I said, number one, if you're doing more for him than what he's doing for you, that's the problem. And then if you a grown man, you should not be asking a woman for money nowhere. You need to get up off your butt and go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no excuses. Go get it. Just like you as a woman, you work hard all the time. Why should you have to share your money with him and he don't even work? This man might not even have a job. He might not even work. He might not even have no type of income coming in, but he got the nerve to sit up here and ask you for money. Why are you enabling a bum? You are enabling him. You're, you're hindering him from being a man because he knows, okay, I can just, whenever I need some money, I can go to, I can go to, you became his mama at this point. You became his mama. You became his mama. Now he's asking you, mama, can I have some money? Can I, can I, can I have some McDonald's money? Mama, mama, I want to, you, come on, man. You a grown man. You too old for that. You too old for that. You too old for that. If you if you if you don't have a bag right now, you don't even need to be dating. In my opinion, you don't even you need to be focused on trying to get yourself together before you be even be trying to be in a relationship or anything like that. And I understand life does happen. But again, only 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 do for a man that's doing for you. Overall, only do for a man that's doing for you. Only do a man how he does you. If he's treating you right and you know that he'll do it, do it for you and he goes hard for you and he spends money on you and he's there for you every time you need him, then okay, you can be there for him. That's no problem. I will never take that away from anybody. But if he just dry asking for money, he ain't even earned it. He's not even trying. He don't even deserve it. He's just trying to see how far he can get with you. Then that's the problem. Okay? All right. So we are number four, y'all. Number four. Number four is he does not commit to you officially. Now, when I say he does not commit to you officially, this is what I mean. So a lot of times these men, they will not commit to you officially. So they'll have you basically, they'll use you for all your benefits again. Sex, money, emotional support, you know, just have somebody around for companionship, stuff like that. He's using you for all these things, right? But you're not getting what you want, which is a relationship. He's thinking, okay, I can hold this relationship over her head and I can dangle this relationship over her head. Come, uh, you, if you just have sex with me a little bit more, if you give me just a little bit more money, if you give me a little more um, emotional support, you can have this relationship and you keep giving, 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 giving. And he keep taking, 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 but the, the relationship never happens and he never fully commits to you. If a man does not commit to you, he don't want you. He's just using you. Point blank, period. If a man does not make you his girlfriend within the first few months of y'all dating, I, I, six months max, and I made a video on this. Six months max. If a man has not made you his girlfriend, and really before then, but six months is really the cutoff. It should really be before then. It should really be about what, if, if y'all are, are dating heavily, and y'all are together, and y'all are like, having sex a lot and y'all like a couple and y'all doing couple stuff together, he already know whether he want to be with you or not. So he already know from the jump. So he, if he has not made that initiative to make you his girlfriend within at least the first, I'd say at least the first maybe three months of y'all dating, but six months max. If it's after six months, then you definitely got to go because he ain't have, he don't have no intentions on being with you. That's the, that's the maximum. But really before then, like around like, Around like three months is like like a good time where he where he already knows. Okay, I okay I, I know for sure whether he knew before he he probably even knew before three months. But three months should be like, hey, hey, right, three months. Okay, but six months is like the cutoff. If he ain't made you his girlfriend by six months, it ain't never gonna happen. 
So a lot of times this man will use you just to use all your benefits and he knows that he's getting your girlfriend benefits or wife benefits, but he won't make you his girlfriend or wife. So he's kind of like, why would I buy the cow if I could get the milk for free? Why would I buy this whole cow and I could just go and get the milk whenever I want to? The whole reason for me getting the whole cow is for I can get the milk, right? Or I could get, or I could benefit off of the cow. But why would I try to get the whole cow if I could just get the milk? If, if, I, if I could go straight to the source. Same thing. Why would I commit to you and be with you if I can still get everything I want out of you without being with you? Why would I buy the cow if I can get the milk for free? So he's just going to use you for all your benefits, all your resources, sex, money, emotional support, all that stuff. He's going to take all that away, all that away from you. And he's going to keep receiving that and, so that you can be in hopes of getting a relationship. So this is an uneven balance. You are getting everything, but he's getting everything that he wants and you're not getting what you want. He's getting everything out of you and it's uneven. You're not getting what you want. You want a relationship. You want something real. You want to show him, you're trying so hard to show him that you're wife material and he's not making you no wife. So take those benefits away because he's using you. You need to leave this situation because he's just using you. If he does not make you his girlfriend, fiance, wife, in that order, and, and it had to be a time period between when he does this. Now, you know, I don't mean for, I don't mean take 10 years and do this. I don't mean take five years. It ain't going to take that long. Men know what they want from the jump. It don't matter how you flip it. Men know what they want. So he knew from the jump whether he want to be with you or not. He knew he already categorized you. Do I want her just as a sex partner? Do I want her as a friend? Or do I want something serious with her one day? He already know where to place you with. Now, if he placed you in that, I just want to have sex with her and I, that's it. And maybe I can, and, and you know, I can show her that I want a relationship and I can dangle that over her head that I want a relationship, but it don't never happen. And I can keep her in hopes of a relationship. Now I can keep getting everything I want until she wakes up and realize that it's never going to happen. And by that time, I already got your sex, money, emotional support, everything about you and you didn't get nothing. And now I can walk away and I can say, hey, I hit her. Hey, I had sex with her. Hey, I, I, I got money out of her. I got everything out of her. And you walk away with a broken heart. You walk away with another body count on your list. And you walk away with less money in your pocket. And you walk away with just a headache and just sitting there scratching your head like, bro, what happened? How did I get in this situation? It's uneven. When you start to feel like things are uneven, that's when you need to leave. So he's just using you. So if a man does not make you his girlfriend within the first few months, with six months max, but by three months, he should already be trying to, hey, no, I'm, hey, we do, hey, we doing relationship things together, but we're not in a relationship. So if he does not make you his girlfriend, then he's using you because he don't want you. If he don't, if he wanted you, he would have been with you. But if he don't want you, then he's using you. Point blank period. If he don't want to be with you, if he don't want nothing serious, then he's just using you for temporary fulfillment in that moment. That's it. Okay. Number five. Last one, y'all. Number five. Number five is his actions do not line up with his words. Now, when I say his actions don't line up with his words, I mean like this. He sells you these dreams. He tells you these, these, these broken, he tells you these broken promises. He tells you all these things like, oh, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to take you here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And he knows that women fall in love with their ears because men fall in love with their eyes. Women fall in love with their ears. So you as a woman, you sitting there wondering like, dang, you know, this man is telling me everything I want to hear. And, it's, and it's, 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 just, it's just giving you butterflies in your stomach. You all like, oh, la, 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 la. he's telling me everything I want to hear. I'm so happy. He said he's going to do this for me. He's going to do that for me. And it never happens. And you're sitting there like, bro, you start sitting back like, wait a minute. You said you was going to do this, but it didn't happen. Or you said you wanted a relationship, but it didn't happen. You said you was going to do this for me, take me out, and it didn't happen. You said that you was going to be with me, we was going to spend time together, and it didn't happen. You said that you was going to, you know, treat me right, and it's not happening. You said that you was going to be exclusive with me, and you're still talking to other women. He's telling you all these lies just to tell you what you want to hear so that you can be filled up with joy. And you can just be filled up with all these emotions so that he can get into your head. And once he gets into your head, then the body follows. So now once I got in your head, I got everything. 
Yo, yo, mind controls everything, your fingers and toes, right? So if I can get into your head first and I can fill your head up with lies, now everything else will follow. And now I have complete control over you 360. I have control over your mind, body, and spirit once I got control over your minds because your mind controls all of that. So he knows that I can just tell her what she want to hear. And guess what? Hey, I, again, I can use her for all her benefits. I can take, 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 take. And I don't have to give out nothing because I'm in her head and she care about me because I sold her a dream. I, I, I made her believe I made her fall in love with my potential instead of the reality. I sold her a dream. She fell in love with my potential. Every man that has ever had a woman to fall in love with his potential, every man's like, yes, yes, she's yes. Yes, I get to manipulate her. Yes, I get to play games with her. Yes, she bought it. I sold her a dream and she bought it. I sold her a dream and she bought it. She bought it. She bought it. I get to manipulate her. I get to do whatever because she care more. Now she care more about losing me than she do about her own self-worth and her own self-respect. Now I got complete control because I got in her head. I got complete control over everything, over all of this. Because now she care more about losing me and she care about me so much that now I can do whatever. So now it's hard for her to let go of me because I became her whole life. Because she because I give her so much joy. I give her so much so much pleasure. I'm I'm the one making her happy. You know, I'm the one filling her head up with all these things and these broken promises and these lies that now I can just tell her what I want to hear, but my actions are saying something totally different. Which, at the same time, is still making your attraction for him go up because he's throwing your emotions all over the place. And one of the parts of seduction, in the law of seduction and attraction, is to send somebody to make signals so that they never know when they stand with you. That, that, is, a, that is a manipulation tactic, a strategy that a lot of men do is they, they send you, they purposefully send you, or they may not even notice that they're doing it, but they're still doing it. They send you mixed signals, right? Because they know that if I send this woman mixed signals, she's, she's going to be more attracted to me because now I'm in her head. Because now, guess what? If I send her mixed signals, if I tell her one thing and I don't do it, now she's sending her like, wait a minute. He said he's going to pick me up, but he didn't pick me up. He said that we was going to do something today, but we're not doing it. He said that he was going to be at his homeboy house, but I see him on Instagram and he's hanging out. Or, I, or, or or he said he was going to text me back or call me back, but he's on Instagram again and he's and he's out living his life, having fun and stuff. And he's at the club and stuff, but he's not texting me back. He's getting into your head because now you tripping. Once a man got you tripping over him, I got you. Once a man got you thinking and, and he gets to live in your mind rent free and you're always wondering what he doing, where he at, who he's around, stuff like that. Oh, I got in your head now because now you tripping over me because you care and you're worried about what I'm doing and I'm driving you crazy. And the more I can drive you crazy, the more mind control I got over you and the more you trip over me and the more I can make you trip over me and the more I can, I can sell you a dream and tell you lies and send you mixed signals and do something. Say, say one thing and do another thing or do one thing and say another thing. Then I got you just, I got your mind just spinning. You don't know what to do. And once I got you, once I got you going like that, and you don't know what's going on. I can strike because you can't even think straight. And that's how a lot of men think. So, and that's, and that's, that's true. A lot of men do that. They send you mixed signals on purpose. So that's how you know a man is using you. So I'm going to go back through them real quick. The last, the, the five reasons why a man could be using you. The five ways how a man could be using you. Number one is you're doing more for him than he's doing for you. Number two is he only uses you for sex, only wants sex from you. Number three is he only asks you for money. He always asks you for some bread. He always asks you for some wop, some moolah. He only asks you for money. When he look at you, he see dollar signs or he see vagina, you know? And then, then four, he does not commit to you officially, right? So he does not make you his girlfriend or he does not make you his fiance or wife. It's always just a situationship. It's always just, you know, we just, we just kicking it. We just vibing. I don't want to rush nothing. I'm not ready for a relationship yet. All these things, but y'all doing relationship things together. Yes, he's using you. He's using you because he, he had no intentions on being with you. He just wants you for your benefits temporarily until something else better comes along or until you wake up and realize that, a, it's never going to happen. 
Okay, number five. Last one with number five is his actions did not line up with his words. So he sends you mixed signals and he has you to think about like, you're just going crazy in your, in your mind. Like, damn, he said one thing, but he's doing another thing. And now he got you wrapped up because he got your, he got control of your mind now. Because now he lives in your head rent free. And now that's going to give him even more ammo to do whatever and treat you however. And you're still going to stay because you're so mentally invested into this man. So that's what it comes down to. So those are five ways how a man uses you, ladies. So pay attention to these five ways and don't be manipulated by these men. Anytime you see these five signs, leave. Be gone. Be gone. Poof. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Leave this situation because he's just going to use you and you're just going to get hurt at the end. Okay? All right. So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.